Today we're going to work the chest. And yes, I have dumbbells and a bench and a ball. If you don't have any of those, you can go down on the ground, maybe put a pillow behind you or a mat just so you have something to support you. We're going to show you some press and fly work that you can use to work your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. We're going to first start with an inclined chest press. Now notice, I am not arching my back and grunting because the weight's too heavy. Find a weight that you can do if you're trying to lean out. Try to do 12, 15, maybe higher 20, 25 reps. This is an incline, so I'm on the higher part of my chest. If you were on a flat bench, you would move it down a little bit more in line with the midline of your chest. Now I'm gonna set these down. I'm not gonna do the same weight in a press move as I would in my fly. I'm gonna go down a little bit. This is key. Keep a soft bend in the elbows as you fly out. Exhale as you bring it back together. So out and back together. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You can use bands. I actually did a little loop with these to make it a little harder. I'm gonna take that behind me and then I can do the same fly movement with bands. I'm just tying it back behind the bench. As I mentioned, you could also do this laying on a ball. The same thing can be done and you actually get the added benefit of working the core. You have to bring those hips up in a bridge and then you do that fly movement. If you don't have any at all, you can just really tighten up, squeeze the chest together and still get a little of that same work. But if you have the aspect, again, of a bench or a ball and added weights, it's just going to intensify things for you. As always, if you have questions or would like Monica to focus on a specific subject, send an email to madams at ksdk.com.